Alright, what's up y'all, it's like a fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, we're here to talk about the toxic life of stage on NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Now, the reason I call this the toxic life of stage is because this game has changed a whole lot from 2K20 when I was on stage very, very consistently. As a lot of you guys know, my content was based strictly around stage in 2K20 for the most part, like 90% of my content. Nowadays, we'd be on pro a whole lot more, stuff like that, casual park gameplay, because I feel like this is no longer for me so much. The stage gameplay is so three hunt heavy, stay, the way, stay out the way of your point guard and let him just space it out, work on the big and ISO him just like this guy pretty much just did to me right here. Now, he ends up with a very contested quick drop dunk against me whereas the outlook more so is to get the big man on your guard and have him hunt for threes really hard and because the big man is stuck on your guard contesting him it equals really easy rebounds for the big man and that's what you're going to see us do very consistently in this game now low key they put their big man on tonic in this play right here and i don't know why more people don't really do that to be honest with you because then you end up with situations where you defend the three a whole lot better and you're going to see us do it later in this gameplay but a couple of questions you guys are going to be asking in this gameplay is, well, Laker, if you hate when Kitchen hunts for three so much and doesn't hit you on slips, then why don't you just tell him to, or why don't you just play with a different guard? The thing is, Kitchen is making the right play in most of these games by hunting for three. You're going to see I actually play some really good defense, though, on this possession. I end up with a stupid nudge right there, though, and then they get a corner cut against Kitchen, and they get a nice two right there. You're going to see them going for twos very consistently, but to backtrack to what I was talking about, you're going to see... Kitchen hunting for three really, really hard in this game. And again, a lot of you guys may ask, well, if you don't like shots like this going up, then why don't you just tell him not to? Or why don't you just play with a different guard? <laughs> well, you guys see, it doesn't work like that. Things like this actually are very important to be getting three-pointers off because nobody respects the two-point shot. The defense is so garbage in this game that most people will probably leave the paint more so wide open and just give you easy two-point shots. Now, these guys, not exactly the case. I know I'm not using the best example for gameplay, but again, that's really why the outlook from our guard is to put so many shots up because twos and slips just aren't worth enough against really good players. So. That is where everything stands. However, this is another opportunity that I actually have to create us some three-pointers where if Kitchen puts up a bad shot, I get the easy rebound and then they're lost off ball with it. Not to mention, they are never going to double team Kitchen off ball. There's no way they're just going to let me grab a rebound and go right back up with it for a dunk. Most people don't do that. So in these situations where I do grab the rebound, I can wait a little bit for Kitchen to move around the court. He can tell me when he's open or I can predict when he's open or I can just see when he's open and we'll be able to get him shots like this where it's off catch and shoot. Mind you, he's on a six foot three point guard as well. So it's essentially the pro-am shooting guard that he uses. So his build is a little bit more defensive than most point guards would be when they come out here on the stage. This guy right here is definitely just a smaller five foot 10, five foot 11 PG who has 99 three pointer, Hall of Fame quick first step, all types of stuff like that. 98 speed with ball, 97 speed with ball, something like that. Kitchen's pretty much working with like 92, 91 speed with ball. But anyway, they get <laughs> what is absolutely hated in this is stage community right here is this right here. You get the inbound, the point guard turns around and unpluckable and all your ball handle rating does not work for this. The ball is just nudged and just poked out. Simple as that. Bump steal off the inbound. It's the classic of 2K22 next gen and 2K22 current gen. I mean, it's just the stage classic. Simple as that. So the guard beats me really bad right there to the wing, but Kitchen ends up stepping out from the corner to the wing a little bit. And again, while I don't love when other people score, at least it only ended in a two-point shot. Now, again, I just want to let you guys know why this really isn't my speed and why I don't enjoy it. I don't like coming out here and just pop slipping, pick and popping everything. It's not my style, as a lot of guys know. I mean, I've come out here and started to shoot the ball a little bit more in this game, but I don't enjoy to just sit here and three hunt all game, myself included. And for reasons like this as well, you're going to see they get this rebound and spacing it, like I don't enjoy spacing on a 3v3 setting. It just ends up with stuff like this, where if Kitchen is trying to get his shot off, it just is putting all the pressure in the game on him timing the shot perfectly and making it 10 times out of 10. Because if he doesn't, my spacing is lacking us rebounding the ball right here, where I don't get involved quick enough and I don't have positioning on this guy right here. And not mind you, the ball did bounce super far and super high up. So it would have been hard for me to get that regardless. But anyway, then right here, me and Tonic have a miscommunication where I drop. He tries to get back out on the three point line, but ends up a little bit too late. And now it's 11 to five. And meanwhile, they've just been taking what we've been giving them or they've been taking their threes when they come naturally. Simple as that, right? So what is the best outlook to look at? Well, we're going to show you second half of this game now. So mind you, they're up six points right now, two whole possessions. Kitchen is going to ISO their big man right here. Now, 
I see he's getting boxed up a little bit. I'm going to try and come back. I'm going to run this slip. And me personally, this is how I think. Anytime you give them this opportunity to switch a lockdown back on the kitchen and the big man back down to me, they're going to do it. But this is the problem. This is when 2K20 actually allowed this type of gameplay. It allowed me and Kitchen to work together really well. And in unison, you had to be a good passer in 2K20 as well at the point guard position. Nowadays, I just think you can get away with stuff like this where you just chuck in the big man's face constantly. And instead of pushing it at this wing and forcing this guy to switch back on the Kitchen and him dotting me right down the middle on a slip, instead, it's stuff like this where he just shoots it in the big man's face this guy can't rebound with me and this is 2k22 next gen we're talking about as well where things like blinders mismatch expert everything included dead eye hot zone hunter stop and pop circus threes anything whether it's a fade or a stop and pop three pointer stuff like this can go in it's literally just as simple as that so there's a bad shot for you that in my opinion some people will call a good shot because they understand the function of this game me and ak have this debate all the time i call this stuff a horrible shot i hate it i just think like this is not open you know what i mean like this just doesn't look open to me but it's the game we play where pe bigger people just can't get that great of contest just in general even smaller people can't so i don't even know what we're talking about with just blaming it all on mismatch expert blinders dead eye and hot zone hunter sniper everything included shooting boost 99 three-pointer i mean <laughs> the list goes on and on we all know why you can make stuff like this but regardless even if he missed it i still have a rebound this dude has really low rebound ratings this guy doesn't even have a chance in anything to get involved in his rebounding because most people put their guard in the corner instead of putting a big in the corner for rebounding so you end up with contested shots and a free rebound if he missed so there's a three hunting right there. It gets us a little bit more back in this game. Instead of it being a four point game, it's now a three point game. And those add up. They really do add up quickly, 100%. So off of the tonic reach in, you're going to see off the inbound, they end up trying to go at kitchen right here. They low key kind of almost get a three point look on the corner. I was playing a little bit of a lane, but it didn't even end up tapping X. They end up going to the post on kitchen because these guys, like I said, they're looking to get their twos consistently if they can get them. Now they take kitchen in the post. I don't think that's ever going to be a good look. I think if you just set up a slip really clean, we have no choice but to kind of give it up, to be honest. Like right here, if that big man would just cut right down the hoop, as you can see, boom, there he goes. And I'm just a little bit out of position, just a little bit too late and i'm even still paying some respect to that slip and trying to follow it so now here we are down 13 to 8 now it's not the worst scoring margin that we've had because we were down six but as the game gets a little bit later the longer and longer you have a deficit like this the bigger the problem it becomes now right here this dude is playing some pretty good defense on kitchen i must say however he gets to the fade he shoots an early though i'm on the rebound and we're going to be trying to hit him off ball and stuff like that again off this little regroup he ends up running out to the wing fading it boom green now we're only down by two so again back to back possessions we've scored three they've scored two and this is the turning point of this game and this is why i'm telling you guys i don't know if this stuff is really built for me anymore <laughs> i just don't think that i have a lot of fun not being involved quite as much when it comes to offensive output and i know some people hate when i pause the videos but i really want to drive this point forward and you guys can just hear me i want a game where when two people devote themselves to guarding my point guard i want my point guard to have to make a read off that third defender whether it's to me or to the corner simple i think that is the least i can ask for when it comes to demanded iq from the game but that's just not what it is if two people devote themselves to kitchen what it means to most guards nowadays in this game and again it's not to blame kitchen because that's just how the game plays but in this game when two people devote themselves to the guard it just means free rebound for me that's how it is so right here it's just easy board simple and i'm gonna be able to hit kitchen on a dex he's wide open on the wing boom there's the three for you because one thing that remains true 100 is that people are not going to double team kitchen off ball so when he gets this big man stuck on him off ball he's actually able to move around kind of like a two guard because again this is a shooting guard build from pro-am so he's not even an actual pg build but stuff like this is how I can get involved in getting our team three pointers. I get the rebound. I'm sitting here waiting for him to dex around on the big man. This is the second assist that I've got this game where it's literally just him moving around off ball and I'm able to hit him. I'm also starting to think one way I could get involved is if I ran team takeover booster as my takeover and if kitchen were to hit me i'm able to build up my takeover and if i can get that team takeover booster as my playmaker take then he's going to benefit off passing to me off getting his shots all types of stuff like that and they will pay for leaving me wide open in the paint now right there is exact example of what i'm talking about they put me in the iso i just need to get better <laughs> simple as that and i mean that is one thing i can impact the game on if i can play better iso defense then it's going to be 
definitely better for us as far as a winning perspective goes but anyway again double team my point guard free board i'm on it we're watching him off ball now i want to let you guys know on this shot right here kitchen's game lagged heavily he didn't really mean to shoot this shot right here and he literally thought his game was crashing <laughs> it just it like almost froze while he was doing it now if you believe him on that that's up to you but now we have this shot right here again they are living and dying by playing good defense stopping us from three all types of stuff like that and they've been taking their wide open buckets all game and what does this man get a missed white three-pointer on the fast break probably lucky number seven and all of that included i end up running off to the corner right here and thankfully kitchen makes this but again forcing three-pointers versus not forcing three-pointers these guys last possession just miss a wide open three-pointer kitchen right here is gonna be fading on the wing i run to the corner mind you because i'm trying to get good spacing out here but again if kitchen misses this we're putting all the pressure of the game on literally just the point guard to be able to make this shot and either way they still double teamed him off the corner so honestly i just don't like the way this game plays i don't like when the point guard has the whole wing to wing to just run around all day and two guys just sit corner i think it's really lame i think it's really whack gameplay i don't enjoy it and honestly i'm gonna try playing our own way and see if it works i just want to see it for that matter but anyway again our three hunting aspect has been working now we get into a little bit of strategy and this stuff is what i live for when it comes to these competitive 3v3 games so now we have to three up on them we have to make sure that we don't give up any threes and what you're going to see me do is i'm going to get end up on the spot up now regardless though they see that we put our guard on on their guard so they just iso him but to give you some insight on the strategy right here i want to get my bigger self in like out of the involvement of having to guard this point guard right here so i end up on just the lockdown chances are they're probably going to have this guy screen if anybody does so it's going to be kitchen and tonic involved in the defense and my lack of speed isn't going to get exposed quite as much so we're able to three up a little bit ideally we don't give up anything right here but what you're going to see is we're a little bit late on that rotation with the two men where tonic can drop down and kitchen stays out on the pop it's really risky for kitchen to chase that really hard as well as it's really risky for tonic too as well so overall you just have to deal with it sometimes and they get their easy too they're up 20 to 17 now and we're gonna have to three hunt really really hard i mean we cannot take twos right here or if we do then we have to get another full stop again so kitchen ends up with a fade to the corner a pretty decent look what you're gonna see though once again off ball movement i'm waiting for him to move around he decks us back to the corner again unfortunately no more hitting me on slips that's not how this game works anymore it's not 2k20 it's not me just getting 10 points if they let me and they devote two people to kitchen and have two people play high instead it is free rebound let me sit down here and wait for him to move around i see him get open boom off ball catch and shoot three and that's how we're getting half our looks in this game from three pointer honestly it's just bad shots leading to good rebound leading to good shot <laughs> it's kind of frustrating that that's how the game works now a little bit more strategy stuff right here it's 20 to 20 we can't give up any basket any bucket at all so you're gonna see me playing back a little bit further on the hedge d you're gonna see him kind of like push it on the rim run a little bit and i'm able to cut him off so then he hits that hop back right here we're able to keep on bodying him up i pass him off the tonic a little bit right here and we end up with another pass off i end up getting a jump pogo jump boom he hits a bailout i'm spamming my y for pogo still <laughs> i it, i wasn't still doing it but it kept on going kitchen gets a really good shot contest right here i almost goaltend it crazy crazy possession we finally got a stop when we needed it and we actually like literally stopped them from scoring now if you guys watched my stage gameplays in 2k20 you guys know what me and kitchen made a living off of and i want to pause this because i want to talk about the difference in this game versus back then if you guys know it was always always i'm sitting wing he's sitting wing run toward me i'm running toward you they're gonna switch this off probably and boom i just slip right down the middle you make a read well that's not the deal <laughs> so kitchen shoots the stop and pop three-pointer right there ends up missing it we almost probably lose the game off that i try and set it up again they get a really nice pass off right there from the lockdown so now we're just absolutely screwed four seconds left what do we do well once again kitchen has the big man on him which means he's nowhere near the paint and now my six foot ten with 91 rebounding just snags out on the lockdown in the point guard because again this right here as much as we want to hate on it as far as being a quote-unquote bad shot this is the thing i mean this is the big man the only guy with rebounding on the court if he has to devote himself to contesting the perimeter he it means he's nowhere near this paint right here so what does that mean free board free two 
I mean, simple as that. And as much as I hate it because it's so brain dead, it requires no communication or movement skill between you and a point guard, no chemistry, no unison, anything like that. It's just how the game is, honestly. And yes, I'm kind of stretching it. You can still set up slips and stuff like that, but chances are they might just hawk the passing lane and then you just get frustrated and it's just as simple as that, right? So anyway, how can you impact the game as a big man? Well, we did have three assists to three pointers for Kitchen right here. And I think another assist that ended up, well, I mean, he only went six for 15 total and six for 15 from three. So all his points were three pointers and all of my assists went to kitchen. None of them went to tonic. So I guess we did assist four three pointers in this game. Additionally, like I said, six offensive rebounds, one defensive, and that does go a long, long way. And that's why I want to say maybe I need to st I need to try my style a little bit more where I'm not popping over to the corner quite as much or just letting kitchen ISO. Maybe I just involve myself a little bit more and we just keep on slipping it. But the problem is, again, from a guard's perspective, they don't want to hit that slip so early. And it's just something you have to deal with. So overall, I'm not exactly sure where to go off of this. I think the best outlook is to do what we did in this gameplay, but do it in a more condensed, better way where we set a screen, try and get Kitchen onto that big man. And if they refuse to let that happen, like let's say I set a really good screen on the lockdown and Kitchen runs off it and runs straight at the big man. And now he's forced to guard Kitchen, like the big man that is. Well, what if the lockdown just doesn't switch on to me and they just leave me wide open in the paint? I think the thing is, I think we just have to take those twos. That's how I feel. Or maybe I run back out to the three pointer. But again, I'm not, I don't know if I'm built for that life. I don't know if I'm really an enjoyer of something like that where I just can't dunk the ball. Like, I mean, when they, the defense just forces us to do that. And that's why I'm saying it's not a problem with my team or my teammates or anything like that. It's a problem with the game. It's so obvious that there's a defensive problem in the game when nobody wants to take twos, when nobody wants to hit the slips, when nobody wants to just feed the paint or anything like that. And it's just a problem. That's what I'm saying. So if anybody wants to argue whether this game has good defense or bad defense, I just say, let the gameplay speak for itself. I dare you to sit here and watch some of the top stage players go at it and none of them are ever hitting their slip ever like rim running to the paint or anything like that. They are forcing threes like crazy. And why is that? Like I said, the defense is just not good enough. I mean, when everybody in this game can shoot and just spot up in the corners and you can just spam screens until you get that mismatch on you and you just ISO him all day. <laughs> it's literally just that. I mean, you have no other option really to just do it when it's the best thing in the game. So again, I don't know if this stuff is built for me or how much I enjoy it. Or on top of that, I don't think it's very entertaining to an extent, but if you guys want to see more of this, I'll try and do it in my own style. I'll maybe talk kitchen into hitting me on slips a little bit more. I'll run that team takeover booster as my primary takeover. And when he hits me on those slips, he'll get rewarded for it with his own takeover. And then when he gets takeover, he can go crazy with like pretty much unlimited stamina, better three pointer, limitless, like sharp takeover as well. And it'll probably be pretty convenient. I just think that could work. That's how I feel. And then me and tonic come out here and play some good defense. We might run those three upsets where I end up in the corner and kitchen and tonic end up guarding ball in the screener and stuff like that and we'll just see it'll be my own style we'll try it i'll just say that much but anyway that's all video i hope you enjoyed if you did for to drop a like so if you're new to the noties all that good stuff like always tries one of 500 likes if you made it to the end of this video put stage in the comments show your support to me all the way through but like i said i think a lot of you guys are going to want to see more pro-am than stage i think that's just kind of a general view and consensus like thought on it and not as many people enjoy the stage gameplay as pro-am but i wanted to bring this one back for all the ogs and 2k20 and I just wanted to say we've come a long way in a bad way. I don't think this game 3v3 wise really supports competitive play quite as much as it did in 2k20. I don't think defense even has a chance to really make that huge of an impact in the game. I mean, there were times in 2k20 where I'll play with one of the best guards in the game with AK and honestly, like me and just whoever the heck it is could come out and lockdown, play sides with two six nines and just literally win us a game off defense and fast breaks don't even need to set up in half court sometimes. It's not like it was always, but I'm just saying defense could win you games back then. I don't think defense can win you games in this game anymore, to be honest with you, because look at this. I mean, they held us to eight for 17. We still won. <laughs> I mean, kitchen shot six for 15. I, I'm still grabbing rebounds. They're still defending the three very well, but it's not really defending the three very well because then I just get the rebound and pass out to him on an off ball decks. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if I really enjoy the gameplay enough on 3v3 competitively to be uploading consistently on the stage, but 
I did want to try this once to just kind of pick your guys' brain, see what you think. And like I said, maybe we'll come back here with my own actual outlook on how to run this. We'll maybe do something different. Maybe I'll bring a seven foot three out here and have him sit corner. And we can just, because Kitchen has a decent defender, we can just have two guards up and put our like actual huge dude in the corner for really good rebounds. Or again, maybe I come out here on the seven foot three as an inside and just snag rebounds as Kitchen shoots up fades. <laughs> I mean, as much as it's gonna be super, lame to watch it's maybe something different we could do so anyway let me know what you guys think but i'm sure you guys are just gonna say upload more pro-am and i'm definitely on board with that if that's what y'all want too so anyway it's off video hope you enjoyed this try it's one of 500 likes and again if you made it to the end of vid put stage other than that take these man peace